morning, everybody. Happy Mother's Day. Welcome to the Central Coast Center for Spiritual Living. As you can see today, we're going to be listening to your heart, celebrating a beautiful Mother's Day. I'm going to bring up us a little bit more full screen here. It's very exciting. I want you guys to share this with somebody you love, somebody you love, because we're going to give them so much love. Jamie's going to give them love. Reverend Elizabeth's going to give them love. Reverend Diane, Charlie. We got so many people here with big hearts that are going to give some love. It's awesome. I'm so excited. So I'm going to let Jamie give us some love right now. Go for it, Jamie. Thank you, Gina. Let me walk to the banks of the river of love. Where the current runs deep, the ties in the one. Where there's no separation and the light is all we see. Honoring all our differences and love will set us free. Oh, Mother, Father, God, there's a healing going on. Mother, Father, God, there's a healing going on. I said, oh, you rock my soul. I said, oh, you rock my soul. I see the blessings of the past. It's time to requalify. Let's not forget, but learn to forgive. God knows we've got to try. It's my responsibility. To heal the wounds in me Compassion, faith and hope and love And truth will set us free Oh, Mother, Father, God There's a healing going on Mother, Father, God There's a healing going on Mother, Father, God There's a healing going on I said, oh, you Rock my soul. I say, oh, 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 you rock my soul. Oh, Lord, I said, Mother, Father, God, there's a healing going on. Mother, Father, God, there's a healing going on. Mother, Father, God, there's a healing going on. I say, oh, my soul I say oh you rock my soul mother father God there's a healing going on right now mother father God there's a healing going on mother father God there's a healing going on I said oh you Rock my soul, oh Lord. I say, Oh, you rock my, oh, you rock my, oh, you rock my soul. I say, Oh, you rock my soul, just like my mama did. I say, Oh, you rock my soul, just like Reverend Elizabeth will. Oh, oh, you rock my soul. Come on, Charlie and Diane, yeah. Oh, you rock my soul like this hallowed ground that we're standing on. Oh, you, uh, oh, you, uh, oh, 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 you rock my soul. Rock my soul. Woo! Yeah! Thank you, Jamie. Oh, I'm so glad you're here with us. What a great way to begin this service. Yes! Happy to be here with you. Thank you, Reverend Elizabeth. Bless your heart. Bless you too, my friend. <laughs> All right. 
Well, welcome to the Central Coast Center for Spiritual Living, where all that we ask is that you remain open to the possibility of changing your entire life by changing your mind. This service has been designed especially for you. Welcome home. And I have an affirmation for you today, and I invite you to please repeat after me. When I listen to my heart, I am listening to my soul. When I listen to my heart, I am listening to my soul. It's the gentle, loving whisper of spirit guiding, directing, sustaining, and inspiring my life. It's the gentle, loving whisper of spirit guiding, directing, sustaining, and inspiring my life. I trust it. I trust it. I trust. I trust. And so it is. And so so it is. All right. Travis will now introduce our amazing musician for today, Jamie Lula. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Good morning. So that's right. My name is Travis Hogue, and I am the music director here at the Central Coast Center for Spiritual Living. Uh, I want to uh, I want to give love out and introduce our dear friend, Jamie Lula. So Jamie's soundtrack is the soundtrack basically need to my life uh it's in heavy rotation in in our in our truck uh reverend elizabeth and i listen to jamie all the time uh, with more than six albums to his name including my personal favorites something's calling me there's a healing going on naked the orange album and so much more you can find uh more information on his website at jamielula.com and by the way thank you jamie for making that so easy for us to find you Quick Google search and jamielula.com to come up. I also want to mention that uh, Jamie is half of the supergroup Floyd Lula. And if you've never heard Floyd Lula's music, oh my God, you're in for a treat. They've got, a, um, they've got videos on YouTube. They've got uh, CDs for sale. Uh, it's, it's amazing. And they're in the writing groove right now uh, making some amazing music. It is an honor for me to introduce our dear friend, my brother from another mother, the amazing Jamie Lula. Thank you, Travis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful, so grateful to be here. And don't you think we should put Reverend Elizabeth's smile on billboards all up and down the 101? I think people would just like, they would smile. Look at that smile. It's like, <laughs> let's plaster the highways with your smile. And everybody, it's like you can't help but smile when you see Reverend Elizabeth smile. Here's a little chant called, We Are the Harvest. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the love that we seek. We are the seed we are sowing. We are the harvest we reap. Try and sing that with me. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the love that we seek. We are the seeds we are sowing. We are the harvest we reap. Oh, I am. And I am. Oh, I am. That I am. We are the ones we we are the love that we seek. We are the seeds we are sowing. We are the harvest we reap. Oh, I am. And I am. Oh, I am. And I am. Oh, I am. So cute. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the love that we seek. We are the seeds we've been sowing. We are the harvest we reap. One more time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the love that we seek. Come on, Travis. We are the seeds we are sowing. 
are the harvest, we reap, we are the harvest, we are the harvest, we reap, one more time, we are the harvest, we Man, we love you, Jamie Lula. All right. Thank you. Good morning, CSL. All right. Um, my name is Travis Hogue, and I am uh, dual duty this morning. I am your announcements angel. All right. Uh, I will now read our mission statement. Um, with everything we do, we aim to raise the vibe. We teach innovative spiritual practices and principles that inspire deeper love of self and others, transformation, a closer relationship with God, freedom from suffering, expansive joy, prosperity, and healing of the body, mind, and spirit. We are a conscious group of positive, inspired, spiritually motivated individuals transforming lives. We just happen to have a spiritual center. Want to check us out? Yeah! Woo! Yeah. All right. Uh, I wanted to... Uh, uh, invite you to our coffee and conversation at 11 a.m. via Zoom. Gina will provide the link in the comment section here, and you can also find it on our center's webpage under the events tab uh, for the coffee and conversation. Uh, we also build our immunity and spiritual community Monday through Friday. Please join us Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. via Zoom for our spiritual community check-in. You can find the link on our Facebook page under events. Uh, this is uh, our daily check-in on Zoom, and it's precious. It's a great time. You'll also want to check out uh, Reverend Elizabeth and myself on Facebook Live this Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. for 30 minutes of God time. It's going to be pretty fun. Uh, last week was pretty amazing, and I imagine this week's going to be pretty amazing, too. Um, next Sunday, May 17th, we have another special service planned for you with the amazingly talented Melissa Felipe and Z Eagloff. They will deliver the message and provide music. They are dear friends of Reverend Elizabeth, and the three of them were littermates in ministerial school. You won't want to miss this. They're great. Oh, look at that. I love those. Okay, and uh, we also have a YouTube channel now. Thank you so much to Gina. Uh, if you're listening to this on a replay, please consider subscribing uh, to our YouTube channel. We're looking to get uh, 100 subscribers so that we can uh, unlock some cool features. And uh, lastly, if you're able, please remember to continue to donate to our center during this unique time. Our operations are fully supported by your generosity, and we're looking forward to gathering at our physical center in the future. You can donate here on the Facebook live stream, uh, Facebook love stream, uh, with the donate button. Uh, and uh, Gina will also provide the PayPal link to donate in the comment section. You can also visit our landing page uh, and click the donate link uh, on our at the center of the page. I, want, I would love to uh, thank you for your consideration. We love you. We miss you. We're looking forward to being together um, in physical form uh, at our center. And we're so grateful to be with you here on the love stream. And with that, my beloveds, is the announcements. Thank you very much. And I would like to remind you all that if there is anything heavy on your heart for which you would like prayer for, or maybe there's something you're looking to manifest in your life, you can send your prayer request to info at cccsl.org and your ecclesiastical team, which consists of myself, Reverend Diane, our assistant minister, and Maria Bucaro, our licensed practitioner. We will pray over your prayer requests for the next week. And now, without further ado, I would like to welcome Charlie for our Science of Mind reading. Blessings, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you and good morning, everyone, on this Mother's Day 2020. On Mother's Day, I might ask, Mother, may I? As I travel down the mother road looking for the mother load, I feel the mother's love from the heartbeat in the mother's womb. I hear Mother Goose and taste Mother's milk that nurtured my life just as Mother Earth has nurtured Mother Nature. Love is at the center of Mother's and your being. This love wraps our lives with the heart and power of God. This heart is the center of divine love and perfect circulation. 
Love's action is harmonious, vital, and complete. There is no false action and no wrong action. The pulsations of life are steady, unceasing, and perfect. Let your heart not be troubled. The calm, continuous pulsations of life are governed by love. So let us be still and hear that heartbeat. Hear that message of love. Be still and know this love surrounds us, envelops us, and for, is forever ours as we continue loving all mothers as these mothers have loved us. And so it is. And we take the words of Charlie into our heart as we move into that place within each of us, closing our eyes, taking a nice relaxing breath and letting go, opening our hearts. Just as the flowers open up to the light, spring is here. There is new birth all around us. The birds are singing. The hills are green and babies are being born. And just as the divine through each of our earthly mothers created us, today we celebrate the infinite forms of mothering through our children, our pets, through nature, through others and ourselves. The divine mother is genderless and it expresses through all of us uniquely and wonderfully. And as we listen, as we listen to that inner cosmic mother, the vibration, the energy of everything that creates, we know that the earth feeds us. The fire warms us and comforts us. The water is our womb that created us. And the air is the wings that allows us to soar, allows us to soar into our dreams. And so as we trust our intuition, we listen to our heart, we are patient, and we follow the divine wisdom within as it always protects and guides us. For the divine mother is always here. So we raise and we praise all the forms of mothering with love, appreciation, dedication, peace, and so much more. And with this blessing, we move into this celebration of our service today with this awesome singer, Jamie Lula, who's already rocked my boat. We are blessed with the touching words of Charlie. And of course, our music director, Travis, that is always creating something new. And Gina, who holds everything together. She is our super glue. But most importantly, our divine spiritual leader, Reverend Elizabeth, for she truly has been the shepherd to all of us during this tender time, holding us together in unity and in community. Her loving words, her inspiring passion radiates today, not only through us right here and right now, but we take her message with us throughout this week as we spread the love to everyone around us. We give a smile to others. We bless someone with a compliment, for we know that our world is healed regardless of what conditions may appear to be, because we are transformational, we are powerful, and we are co-creators in life. So I have named it, I have claimed it, and I know it as I release my words into the creative law of the one mind of God, and we say all together, and so it is. Amen. Oh, thank you, Diane, Reverend Diane. That was lovely. This is a Floyd Lula song, and I expect y'all to be up dancing. 
get your mama up, get her shaking her groove thing, you know what I'm saying? In the most spiritual of ways. Sunshine, your eyes, dew drops, dragonflies. I'm so grateful I'm alive. I'm so grateful I'm alive. I'm so grateful I'm alive. Sing it with us. I'm so grateful I'm alive. I'm so grateful I'm alive. I'm so grateful I'm alive. Clapping, Elizabeth. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. Happy Mother's dying. Day, love. Can you hear me? Hey, Jamie, can you play one more song? Right now? Yeah, because I need to change my batteries on my <laughs> on my mic. Any any requests? Uh, maybe Spirit in the House. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. I've done my time, I'm so tired, I give up on my simple mind It's not working, I'm no good, I'm in need If I only could find the
Lots of stuff I go through Pull me over, said the man in blue Son, you know what you done did I said yes, I ran a light of red What's your hurry, why the race? Who you trying to keep pace with? Keep your time, not it's alright God, your answer you can't hide From the spirit yeah. the high. Holy, holy I'm on fire, how about you? Can't you feel the spirit guiding you? House ain't home, home is where Love's alive when you want to dwell in the spirit Yeah, the high Holy, holy, holy spirit Spirit the same thing. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Reverend Elizabeth. Thank you, Thank Travis. Thank you so much. We love you, Jamie Lula. Woo! I can't wait for your wedding. Yeah, we can't wait either. That's going to be amazing with you. and It's going to be Floyd Lula. Lula and Floyd. L we are Lula. so going to be ready for a celebration then. Right? Yeah, yeah. so true. Yes. Yeah. Cool. All right. Hello, everybody. <laughs> now we're ready to begin. I'm Reverend Elizabeth Raleigh, and I'm the spiritual director at the Central Coast Center for Spiritual Living, which is located in Templeton, California. And we are streaming live here today from our condo in San Luis Obispo. My beloved and I are here in our home office. So welcome to our home. I'm so glad you're here. And I just want to say a little bit about Jamie Lula before jumping into my talk. And that is that he's amazing. Obviously, you just heard his fabulous music and the words are so amazing. And then he brings them to life in, <laughs> in such a way that is just so soulful and you can really feel it, right? And so it's really powerful. And Jamie plays for large centers. Like he was a regular, and I think he still is a regular at Agape uh, with Michael Beckwith. And so, uh, wow. So we're so blessed to have you here. Thank you. We love you. We honor you. Wow. wow. So, so good, good to have you with us. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. And I know that Reverend Michael Beckwith would be sending his greetings from our Agape community uh, as they're in service right now, too. But thank you so much. It's such an honor to work with you and watch you have you as you've come through the ranks of being a practitioner and and a chauffeur and uh, <laughs> to being a minister and to be I'm, I swear it's like I, I said earlier, it's like they should plaster your smiling face on billboards all up and down the 101 that would keep the vibration very high. So thank you. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Jamie. I love it. <clears throat> I love it. And so his music, I think I just saw a little banner going by. It went by pretty quickly, but it's uh, jamielula.com. So you can go to jamielula.com and find some of the music there. Spirit in the House, I think, is the name of the CD. That is my personal favorite. And that was kind of like my uh, coming of age, uh, spiritual awakening. And so it, it was a, a, a fun time for me to sing those words and to like at first not know what I was singing and then to really get it. And I would actually try to sing with my friends. We'd sing at the top of our lungs and think we were catching the tune. But <laughs> as you heard by accident earlier in this stream, we didn't quite catch the, the harmony, <laughs> but we thought we were. So that's what counts. And anyway, it makes you want to sing, right? And what a beautiful opportunity to begin this talk now. Spirit wants you to sing, you know, your soul, you are a soul and you have a body is what we talked about last week. You are a soul. You have a body. And let that rearrange you. 
let that rearrange you. It's a subtle shift in your mindset that moves you into this divine throne of consciousness, which is the seat of your soul. And so this is a great opportunity to allow ourselves to move into that space. And happy Mother's Day. Uh, it's a beautiful day. And as Reverend Diane was channeling in her uh, fabulous prayer, uh, Mother's Day is honoring the Divine Mother and all, which is uh, genderless. And so uh, I also want to honor and anyone out there who ha maybe had a bad experience with their mother or something that uh, is unhealed or maybe Mother's Day is just not fun for you. And I want you to know that I see you. I see you too. And uh, the invitation for you today is to lean in and allow this divine mother to pull you close into her embrace and to love you. And it is the mother of the universe, right? That genderless mother that is nurturing and caring. And I imagine in my mind's eye, um, Amma, the hugging saint. So if you've never seen Amma, you must. <laughs> She's amazing. You know, people wait in line um, for days to just to get a hug from her. And I did that. And I remember uh, when it was my turn to be hugged, she just pulled me in and it was like a fierce hug, right? And so let that divine feminine, that divine mother pull you close in that embrace and feel that presence as an energy today. So did you know that the first sense to, to develop in the embryo is sound? And the first sound an embryo hears is its mother's heartbeat. Wow, that's amazing. The heartbeat is the voice of the heart. Uh, and it is primal, right? It's primal. So it is this wisdom and guidance of the universe divine. It is where our intuition resides, and it is forever speaking, guiding, imparting itself to, through, and as us. Now, when we listen, when we pay attention, we can hear the call of it in our lives. And I love uh, the Declaration of Principles for the Science of Mind and what we believe, which was written by Ernest Holmes in 1927. He says, we believe that heaven is within us and that we experience it to the degree that we become conscious of it. That's powerful. So what does the heart want to say? What does your heart want to say? I was reminded of a time when I was a little girl and I went on a day trip with my grandma, Jenny. Love my grandma. She's no longer with us, uh, but she's here in spirit. She's here right now. And uh, she loved to have fun, Grandma Jenny. She was very adventurous. And we were on this outdoor train and we were going uh, for this ride in the mountains in Santa Cruz. I think it was called the Roaring rapid roaring railroad or something like that <laughs> in Santa Cruz mountains. Anyway, there is an older, it's an outdoor, um, uh, there's no covering. So you're like, it's like in, being in a wagon or the back of a truck. Right. And we're, we're in this little train cart and outside is so warm and beautiful out there in the middle of summer. And there's a woman there and she's seated next to me and she's sharing the story with me of her declining health. And I remember feeling so sad and I really felt for her as I listened to her. I was empathizing with her at such a young age. I was like seven years old, I believe. And I said, I don't know what to say. And she asked me, what does your heart want to say? And I said, my heart wants to say that I love you. And I said that and she teared up and she thanked me. She thanked me so much. And that was such a unique and defining moment for me uh, because I've never forgotten this. What does your heart want to say? And so I ask you this question today. What does your heart want to say? What does your heart want to say? Now say it. My heart wants to say right now to all of you, I love you. Happy Mother's Day. I'm so grateful I'm alive. I'm so grateful we're here together. What a gift this is. So when, when we listen to our hearts, 
When we say listen to your heart, we're actually asking you to listen to that primal rhythm of life, to feel it pulsing through your entire being. This is the song of the universe, the one song that is singing just for you. And it's revealing its wisdom through and as you. What is its message? What wisdom does it want to bring to you? What wisdom does it want to impart to you today? When we are in the practice of listening to our hearts, we are then able to be in relationship with others in a more authentic and compassionate way. So we have uh, empathetic listening to others that we can practice and we have the realization that we're always connected and that there is just the one thing going on. There's just one spirit expressing itself and we are guided to the most compassionate choices, actions, and ways of being with one another. So too often we're not fully listening. I know I can be guilty of this, especially when I am super busy in my life and I start multitasking and uh, my intention is to pay attention. <laughs> I have the intention of attention and sometimes there's a deficit, right? So to fully listen involves paying close attention, my friends, close attention, not only to what's being said, but what's being emoted, what's happening with facial expressions, what's happening with body language, right? What, what is all of that? What's not being said? So to fully listen is to be fully present and available for others. And so as we listen to our own hearts, listen to what is being said within our heart, not like the emotional, uh, unhealed, um, clinging kind of sentimental heart stuff, but what is the heart, the seat of the soul, your divine consciousness, what is that saying? What does that want to say? And as we listen closely, we know it's powerful right? It is the voice of strength. It is the voice of vitality. It's the voice that lifts you up. It's the voice that lifts me up, right? I with a thing that makes me excited and thrilled to be here and, and wanting to share. And it is a feeling of power. It's empowering. And you sort of feel like you're uh, a superhero when you're, when you're really feeling this presence and coming from that and listening to that. And so we're encouraged to continue to do that. And as we do that for ourselves, we're able to listen and be more fully present for others. Are you with me? Yeah. <laughs> Travis says, yeah, I'm with you too. So listening becomes actually an amazing gift that you give to others. As we listen to our hearts, we begin to become available to listen to others fully, completely. And that includes what's being said, what's being articulated, what is being emoted, body language, what you're seeing, what's not being said. I think I already said that, but just in case, what's not being said. <laughs> Oh, man, I love it. And then, uh, yeah, so listen to that. Listen to that space. An opportunity to have someone be heard is a huge gift, right? So as you are listening fully, completely, 100%, you're giving somebody the opportunity to be heard. And this is one thing I love about our Zoom check-in calls. So we are doing daily Zoom check-in calls here at the Central Coast Center for Spiritual Living. And on those calls, we start with a prayer. Then there's a question of the day that we check in around. And then we do a closing prayer. And we also include some fun things here and there. Uh, we've been doing raising and praising each other where we go around the group and we take the time to lift each other up about what we see and what we're grateful uh, uh, for them for. And it's so amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It really lifts everybody up. And that's what we're about. Raise the vibe is what our our vision is here. So we're here to raise the vibe. And, and uh, we definitely are doing that on the Zoom check-in calls. And it's magnificent. So if you haven't attended those, I invite you to just drop in and check one out. You don't have to attend them all, but your presence would be so welcome. We love seeing new people and we do see new people every day. And it's just fun and very grounding. So, uh, and in that circle, we listen. We're not trying to fix each other. We just listen to where people are at. We listen. 
some people are hurting, some people are stoked and on fire, like for spirit and not afraid to show it. Some are just learning about our teaching and they're excited and eager to learn more. Um, and, and everybody's in a different place all the time, right? So it's a beautiful opportunity to build that immunity in spiritual community. And that is uh, Michael Beckwith's uh, line there. We build our immunity in spiritual community. How powerful is that? So thank you, Reverend Dr. Michael Beckwith, for being here in your presence today while you are also at Agape. <laughs> That's very cool. All right. So when I listen with my inner ear and look with my inner vision, I become receptive to my own internal guidance system. In this way, I'm connected to infinite intelligence, which knows everything. Infinite intelligence knows everything because it's infinite. There's nothing it can't know. There's nowhere that it is not. And it easily guides and directs me to my next highest and best good, my greater yet to be. So always and always, I am following my spiritual breadcrumbs. And I follow these breadcrumbs and trust the universe. That was part of the affirmation this morning. Trust trust, trust, right? How can we trust the universe to a greater degree? So the invitation is to listen to your heart is a powerful listening. Listening to your heart is a powerful listening. This is different than listening to your feelings because your feelings might be generated by, uh, well, not might be, your feelings are generated by your thoughts, but those thoughts may come from an unhealed past or something that you are uh, running on this hamster wheel of trying to get somewhere with it or do something or be something else that you, than you actually are. It actually takes you out of the presence. But listening to your heart and listening to your soul, what is your soul uh, saying, right? The heart and the soul heart and soul, baby. What is, what is that saying? What is it saying? And as a soul with a body, this soul wants to live through you. It wants to shine through you. It wants to radiate good through you out to all. It wants to be magnificent. It wants to know itself in a particular way as you for such a time as this, at this time on this planet, which there will never be another time. And it's no coinky dink that we're all here together during this pandemic, what are we doing with it, right? Listen to that soul, your soul, which is connected to the cosmic soul, the universal soul of all of life. It wants to bring its gifts into the world through you. It wants to bring its gifts into the world as you, right? It wants to shine, shine, shine. And who do you think you are to not allow that? That's funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny. Why won't you allow it, right? Just let it flow. This light, this life, your soul, the highest and best version of yourself wants to do what it came here to do. Will you let it? Will you let it? I need to see a yes in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> Will you let it? Yes. Thank you, Mama Jody. She said, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Will you let it, right? This light, this love wants to shine through you and as you, it wants to create, it wants to be magnificent. Will you let it or are you too busy? Are you too busy? Like I asked somebody, one of my loved ones, I'm not going to, I'm not going to throw them under the bus here, but I, I remember I asked somebody if they were going to be tuning in or, or if they saw our Wednesday night service and they were too busy. I'm thinking we're in a pandemic sheltering at home and you can't turn on Facebook live. <laughs> what is going on here? Right? So the spirit that wants to shine through you, that wants to love through you, that wants to lift you up. Are you going to let it or are you too busy for it? Are you like, the phone is ringing and it's spirit saying, I got your number, baby. It's time. <laughs> right? Are you going to pick up the phone or let it go to voicemail? so busted. You can't let it go to voicemail. Starting now, maybe that's the way it was, but starting now, now that you actually know what's going on, you can be present and available to the soul that wants to live and shine and love and be magnificent through you. Can I get an amen? amen. <laughs> can I get an and so it is? And so it All is. right. And Shannon says, yes, please. All right. So I want to share with you a modified and paraphrased piece from The Course in Miracles. 
uh, lesson 49, which is God's voice speaks to me all through the day. Listen in deep silence. Be very still and open your mind. Go past all the ruckus shrieks and sick imaginings that cover your real thoughts and obscure your eternal link with the divine. Sink deep into the peace that waits for you beyond the frantic, riotous thoughts and sights and sounds of this insane world. Then, then you will hear the voice of the divine reminding you of it and of yourself. It wants you to hear its voice. It gave it to you to be heard. Powerful. If it's in the Course in Miracles, it must be true. <laughs> right? All right. So I, I want to move in now to some more about Mother's Day. I have a wonderful reading from Wild Mercy, which is a book by Mirabai Star. And I'm going to save that till the end. Right now, I want to talk to you about something super powerful, which is Ernest Holmes. <laughs> and it is a writing by Ernest Holmes that is, uh, I've got too many papers happening here right now. It is... Um, the the miracle of mother love the miracle of mother love now i just love this story and i share this every mother's day this is my third mother's day with the central coast center for spiritual living can you believe that Woo! yeah it's so good to be here and so um you can actually look up ernest holmes the miracle of mother love and i believe there's a youtube video and you could also search for it in iTunes. If you have iTunes and then you can download it and listen to the whole thing. It's powerful. All of these radio shows by Ernest Holmes are super powerful and I love them. So, uh, so I'm not going to share the whole thing, but, but a part of it that really touched me deeply that I want us to look at and be present with today, which is, he says that when the seed of life is burst into fruitfulness in human experience, the very spirit of motherhood, the divine teacher and the divine counselor inwardly prepares the expectant mother for the part she is to play in the creative process. This is so powerful, right? Because that means there is something beyond my individual intelligence. There's a greater intelligence, a cosmic intelligence. And that's what I want us to all be present to and remember here, that there is a divine intelligence, a divine teacher, a divine counselor, as Jamie called it earlier, a divine umpire. Is that what he said? <laughs> right? There, there is this thing that knows how to prepare and it prepares us. Uh, so, I'm going to ask Gina to bring up the science of mind symbol real quick. This is our creative symbol, our teaching symbol for science of mind. And just to give you an idea. So we've got at the top there, you see spirit. And then in the middle section, you see what's called soul or law. And in the bottom section is body or effect. So uh, involution of spirit goes down the, the left side of the spirit there. It looks like a V, but it's not a V. It's the involution of spirit through the creative medium, which is the soil. It goes down through that and produces a body, something in form, some effect or something. And then in the process of evolution, it goes out, it evolves out back up through the law and back into unification with spirit. But spirit as the father, right? Spirit impregnates the mind with an idea and it is nurtured and grown in the soul section, which is uh, just as the baby is nurtured and grown in the mother's womb. And then the baby pops out <laughs> and or the idea is the whatever is coming into form comes out in the body. You can remove that now, Gina. Thank you very much. So we've got spirit, soul, and form. And, uh, and 
And so looking at the mother, it's so amazing to consider how the entire temperament of the mother is shifted as if there's an invisible hand that comes in and touches her, reshapes her uh, physical and emotional processes. There is born within her a desire and an interest and an expectation which grow in her mind and heart even as the physical body of the child is taking form. And things that she never thought of before come into her mind. She's equipped emotionally so that it will not be a hardship for her to carry this baby, so that it will be not be a hardship for her to carry out the duties of being a mother. She is psychologically prepared by some cosmic teacher it, uh, to become a nurse, a teacher, a counselor, and a spiritual comfort. At the same time, a biological shift takes place. Her whole physical being is preparing itself for the divine event. There are changes to her chemistry, changes to her entire body so that the new life will be supplied with food that changes the shape of the body to provide a protective cradle for the unborn baby. And it actually even adjusts the bone structure of the mother to accommodate the birth. The muscles become adjusted, as does the entire uh, nervous system, to make the experience a normal, natural, and happy event. Who is doing that, you guys? It's not like the mother is commanding all of this to happen. The body is doing it. The spirit, this divine intelligence that is back of all creation, is responsible for this. And so the point of that and the point of this sharing with you here today is that if you get an idea, there is a divine intelligence that carries with it everything that it needs to know to carry out that idea. You don't have to worry about the how. God has got it, right? God's doing it all. This divine intelligence is doing it all. So as we watch this experience, as we contemplate this experience, we cannot help but recognize the divine spirit knows how to take care of all of our needs if we would let it. If only we would let it. For in a certain sense, we are all mothers giving birth to new thoughts, new ideas, and new events. And why should we doubt that the same creative power which prepares the mother to give birth to her baby will not also prepare us physically and mentally to give birth to new experiences? powerful. Yes. Yeah. So the mind in every man and woman is both father and mother to the events and circumstances and conditions that take place in life. It is in a very definite sense that the mind becomes impregnated with ideas and in just as definite a sense, the impregnated mind nurtures the idea into form. Powerful stuff, you guys. We cannot doubt that this very same intelligence provides the ways and the methods and the means through which every birth is to take place. So happy Mother's Day, everyone. Everyone, whether you had children, gave birth that way or not, right? Uh, and not to uh, disrespect if you did. I mean, that is a huge deal. <laughs> if you actually did give birth to children uh, and if you are a father and your wife gave birth to the children, uh, fathering, you've also done some mothering with that child. I know it's just the way it works, right? So whether it's a physical birth of a baby or a new invention, everything comes from one source and through one creative process. Just as soon as the seed is hid in the ground, something stirs within it, right? So what are the seeds that you're planting? As soon as you put those seeds in the ground, something stirs within it. And that stirring is the beginning of the creative process. Well, I love this. So we have so many changes in our world right now, don't we? Uh, we're, we're sheltering at home. Uh, we're not meeting at our spiritual center. We're not able to go and see our families. Uh, we're not traveling. Everything is on pause. And we are resting and going within and uh, healing. You know, the planet is healing. Mother Earth. Happy Mother's Day to Mother Earth, too. 
And, uh, and so there's so many changes happening. So how are we nurturing ourselves is the question. Mother's Day is always a great reminder for us to nurture ourselves and love ourselves, you know, um, rest, rest is so good. Like we deserve to rest and relax. Yes. And that is powerful. So allow yourself time to relax, have a mother's day uh, meal. And if your mother is not around, know that you're blessing her and calling in that divine mother energy. And we're going to do that now. So I'm going to stop talking about this and move us into a special ritual and ceremony that normally at the center, we do this amazing ceremony, which involves a heart. And we remember this, we put this stones out and create a heart up on the altar and we get flowers and they're usually yellow flowers and all the mothers get to take them home. And it's a beautiful, beautiful a ritual. So we're going to modify it a little bit here today. So in the heart circle, what that represents is the divine mother. And, uh, and we take time, we took time at the service, and we're going to do this here is to speak names of mothers into the room so that we can feel that divine mother energy and we can feel the presence of our ancestors and the lineage and all of the amazing divine genderless mother energy that comes in right so uh usually we use a stone we pass out stones but today we're going to use our hands so i invite you to hold your hands out with your palms up and you can rest one hand in the other like so and we will honor all of the mothers of our lineage, asking them to join us with their divine feminine mother energy by speaking their names into the room. And I'll begin by naming goddesses. And I'm going to name several goddesses. And then I would invite you to speak the name of mothers that come to your mind. It could be your mother, your grandmother. It could be other friends of mothers. Whoever comes to mind, speak that name. And I also invite you to to type that name into the comment section here. All right. Adi Shakti, Ama, Annapurna, Aphrodite, Artemis, Athena, Bast, Beltane, Bhavani, Bhumi, Brahmani, Brigid, Ceres, Chakti, Chintamani, Devi, Dumavati, Diana. Eos, Freya, Gaia, Ganga, Gayatri, Hathor, Hera, Inanna, Indrani, Isis, Kalasidi, Kali, Kaveri, Lakshmi, Lalita, Mamiwata, Mandarava, Mantanji, Mazu, Minerva, Mother Divine, Mother Goddess, Mother Mary, Narashima, Natura, Ostara, Pachamama, Parvati, Kuan Yin, Radha, Rudrani, Sarasvati, Savitri, Sita, Sophia, Tara, Varahi, Vinayaki, Viraja, Yamuna. And now I invite you to speak the names of your mothers. Linda. Jody. Mama Jody, Mama Linda, and Virginia, my grandmother, Grandma Ginny. Grandma Jan. Grandma Jan. Grandma Ruth, and all of our aunties, Kathy, Santina, Ginger, Donna, Beverly, Deborah, Sheila, yes, Kendra, Aunt Lucy, oh, yes. Hmm. Yeah. 
And so you can continue to put your names of your mother or anyone who comes to mind. I know Reverend LaVon and uh, uh, Shannon McGee and Sue Coleman, Shannon McGee's mom and, and Sue's mom, who is no longer with us. And I see someone put Maria, Grandma's Mary and Josefina Yanelli. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, Reverend LaVon. Beautiful. And now, as those names continue to come through, which is absolutely okay, I invite you to take your hands and place them over your heart as if you are blessing yourself. And please repeat after me. I love you, Mother. I forgive you, Mother. Thank you, Mother. I am whole, perfect, and complete. I am whole, perfect, and complete. I accept myself exactly as I am. I accept myself exactly as I am. All of my needs are met. All of my needs are met. I am one with my source. I am one with my source. And so it is. And so it is. And now I invite you to call to mind something that you've been mothering in your own life. Call that to mind right now, and you can put that in the comments here too. What is something that you've been mothering in your life? Maybe it's a new project or a furry friend, or maybe you're pregnant. <laughs> maybe you're nurturing your way back to perfect and vibrant health, or perhaps you're finding new ways to nurture yourself or your spiritual community. Maybe it's a new way of being that you have chosen to embody. Maybe you're choosing a new way right now. Perhaps there's a new way of talking to yourself or your partner that you're nurturing and mothering. Whatever it is, call that to mind. And I see more names coming through and some wonderful projects. Oh, Jan, Aunt Pat, Grandmommy Ann, Gay, Elaine, Ruth, Eileen, Patty, Therese, Chris, Nancy, Terry, Patty, Nancy, Aunt Joan, Elaine, Faye Reed, Gladys Bass, Lulu, Mum, Shirley Gomez. Yes. Oh, it's so magnificent. And so with that, let's turn our attention inward. And we return to this beautiful, expansive space within, which is the space where Divine Mother lives. I know that Mother, Father, God is here right now, and it is expressing itself in me, as me, and through me. And it is ever-present. It's everywhere. I'm so grateful to remember this truth, and I'm so grateful to know that God is all that there is. It is the only thing happening right here and right now. And when I consider the seed of my soul, it is my divine consciousness. And it's not my divine consciousness I, because it owns me. This divine consciousness is here and there's a body and so I am a soul and I have a body and so this body is called to listen to the soul this body is called to listen to the heart and as I listen I become one with the divine presence that is my life and what a gift that is. I'm so grateful, Mother, Father, God, for this day. I'm so grateful for this day of honoring all of our mothers and for being reminded that it is uh, the nurturing and loving and, and presence of the Divine Mother in our lives. It doesn't have to be that we had children necessarily to be honored. I'm so grateful for that. And I, and I know that anyone who is struggling or feeling a sense of being troubled or despair right now because of Mother's Day, that they are seen and held in the arms of love too. And so as we continue to navigate this time in pandemic, this time of uh, building a new normal, I know that we honor ourselves, that we're able to turn within and allow that divine mother to guide, sustain, direct, and inspire our lives. It is the source of all, and it is the thing I say yes to every day. So I know that every day in every way, we are each getting better and better and better. And so there's so much more to be revealed. Like just when we thought <laughs> Just when we thought we had arrived, it's like there is so much more magnificence waiting for all of us. And we're, we're saying yes to it. We're open and available to all these gifts from God, all these gifts from within each one of us. 
and we again get our bloated nothingness out of the way. Anything that thinks it's too much or I'm overwhelmed or I'm scared or frightened, we just let all of that get dissipated now back into the nothingness from whence it came because we are here to shine and we allow ourselves to shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to speak the word of my heart. What my heart wants to say will be spoken. And I listen to my heart. And as I do this, I am able to be more present to everyone in my life. And that is a gift. So thank you for this gift, Spirit. Thank you for this time together. Thank you for this service and this beautiful music and for the uh, extension of time and love. <laughs> I'm so grateful that I know as we go forward from here, we are blessed and guided and God is good all the time, 24-7, 365, even when it appears not to be. Thank you, God. I am so grateful for this as I release it out into that loving and creative action of the law where I know it is done and so it is.
I'm perfect So I'll keep looking at you To keep witnessing my perfection And you as me Jamie. Jamie. Oh, wow. Oh, so, so great, great to have you here. One, one of my, my favorite, favorite songs. songs. Again, Again, everyone, jamielula.com. You, you get your music, music there. there. You take them home, home with you. <laughs> Fabulous. Fabulous. All right. Fabulous. It is now. You missed you that gonna... last part. You said, take me home. Take Jamie home in a way that his wife would approve of. There you go. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> take Jamie <laughs> home in a way that his wife would approve of. Absolutely. Thank you. I love it. All right. So blessings, friends. Uh, I'm so grateful. I, I have to give thanks again to Gina DiGirolamo for her mastery behind the scenes and, uh, and to Travis for his reaching out to the amazing musicians and scheduling them and Jamie for rocking our world <laughs> in a way that only you can do. I mean, yeah. And Reverend, woo, 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 yeah. And, and Reverend, Reverend Diane, Diane, thank you for you your brilliance. Travis. Woo, yeah. Woo. <laughs> and the crowd goes crazy for y'all. <laughs> thank you, loves. I so love you. It's now time for our gifts, ties, and offerings. And I invite you to please repeat after me. From the love of pure spirit within me, I bless this gift. From the love of pure spirit within me, I bless this gift. I send it forth to heal and bless and prosper. I send it forth to heal and bless and prosper. It is evidence of my faith and my belief. It is evidence of my faith and my belief. It does great work in the world. It does great work in the world. And returns to me multiplied abundantly. And returns to me multiplied abundantly. And so it is. And so yippee do, yippee done. <laughs> All right. So won't you know we're alone, that God is where you are right now and always. And all that you ever need do is turn within and it is here. You will find that you are guided, sustained, directed, and inspired by a source that knows only good. Joyously, let us make use of these gifts and all that I think, in all that I say, and in all that I do. And please repeat after me, something wonderful is happening as me right now. Something wonderful is happening as me right now. It is this thing called life. It is this thing called life. Life is in my mind. Life is in my mind. Life is in my body. Life is in my body. Life is in my pocketbook. Life is in my pocketbook. Life is in my relationships. Life is in my relationships. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. I think it. I think it. I feel it. I 
feel it. I believe it. I believe it. I express it. I express it. I accept it. I accept it. Just the way that it is. Just the way that it is. And just the way that it is not. And just the way that it is not. Thank you, life. Thank you, life. Woo! Woo! Yay. Blessings. Blessings. We, we love, love you. you. We'll see you on we'll Zoom, Zoom after, after this. this. Send me the Zoom info. Okay, right, let the right, Zoom, send him the Zoom info. Right, right. Zoom, Zoom info's, info's coming up. up. Coming right, right up. up. Thank you, loves. Yay. So we're still live running here for a second. And okay. just wanted to let everybody know that um, they can also share this with uh, friends through... Um, YouTube as well. So go over to the Central Coast Center for Spiritual Living YouTube channel and you can share it there. You could share this post. Um, and uh, we just want you to do that because we want to share this all over the world. And that's one of the nice things, right? That's come up for all of us here is that we are able to reach out to everybody. So thank you. Thank, thank you, Jamie. Jamie. Thanks. It's great. Thank you. Thank you. Jamie. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Travis. We'll see and you on Zoom, yeah? Be over at Zoom. Yeah, excellent. Okay. Peace. Peace. <laughs>